Hello. Hello, I'm Cindy. I'm Debbie. We are Sisters in Stitches, Sisters in Real Life, and we do have a box of stitches for you today. Yeah, it's Wannable. Yeah, and I haven't done, I stopped Wannable a long time ago because they were very expensive and I didn't like the clothes that I was getting and it's been probably a year and a half, but I started watching YouTube videos on Wannable and it seemed like the clothing prices were coming down a little bit. Really? Well, yes. <laughs> and the variety was a little bit better for plus size. So I thought I'd give them a try. So let me know what you guys think on this. Now I did ask for a spring transitional. I asked for button down shirts, more fitted shirts, and I asked for some straight leg jeans because I have all skinny jeans or I have boot cut jeans. So I that's the only little genre of jeans that I need. So let me show you what they gave me. Now Liverpool is one of my favorite pair of pants and jeans, but these are a navy blue pair. And I'm telling you what, it's almost they like they're so barbells heavy. like I can do. Those are definitely winter pants. Yes, and um, I do have a pair of Liverpool navy blue, but they're more of a thinner material and they're really good for spring and summer. And I don't know, I just don't think these looked as good on me as the other ones, and I think it's the cut of the pant. This is, I don't know, what is the name of this pant? That is Harper Bootcut Trouser, Trouser in Night Sky Blue. You know, maybe because it's a boot cut, I prefer the straight legged when they're trousers and not so much the boot cut because I don't know, it just, even on the model in here, show them the model of that. Yeah, even the model, they do not look good on the model. It's the second from that bottom. It just makes her look like, like her knees are bending yeah. in. Yeah. It just doesn't make her look good, so. And these, how much were these? And they're $88. So. Which is what I paid for my other so ones. I paid 78 for mine. Well, for maybe they were 78 but, and I still have them, and it's been almost two years, yeah. and I still have them. They're, they're still a good great. Pad, yeah. For sure. Yeah, but these, I, I'm telling you what, they would just sit in my closet until maybe fall, and then I don't even know with my weight loss what I'm going to look like. If I'm going to gain weight, lose weight, I don't know. But again, here's my spring transitional piece. This is from Theo and Spence. It's a French Terry classic cardigan and it's $63. Can you see it at all? You're probably better I, off looking at it on the... I'm not really big on the hooded cardigans that you can't secure in front of you. Like there's no buttons on it. So it's not like you can throw the hood up and wear it as a, to keep warm. It's going to blow open or you got to run around with, you know, your hand on it, keeping it closed. Well, so I never wear I hoods that they don't on put hoodies. Buttons at least one button in the middle to close it if you wanted well, to. Well, the reason that I'm not going to keep this is one, it, it's, it's too long. It's too long and it's a, it's like a sweatshirt material, which would be okay well, in the early terry, spring, it? Like but it clothes. feels like a, yeah, a, like sweatshirt. a sweatshirt. And even though it's a 2X, it just, there wasn't enough material like width of the front panel to come like all the way closed if I wanted. I'd really have to stretch it to close it. Otherwise, it would just have to be worn on the draped open on the side. Do you know what I mean? So it was just kind of a weird, weird fit. And I can't go down in the size because then it would be too tight and then it would be even farther. I don't like the hood on it either. I, I don't ever wear hoods on hoodies, ever. I don't think I've ever put one on. So this is going to go back just because of the way that the front didn't close. It's a little bit heavier you know what i think i might have appreciated it more if it was more in a spring color or a lighter color Maybe. you know because then you could wear it with a tank and a pair I of love jeans black, but i'm not digging that jacket at all yeah i don't like that one at all and then i love the print i this saw this on wannable so i at, i requested it and this is from cut, cut from, from the, the cloth. cloth and this is 68 dollars. it's pretty pricey for what it is yeah it is and it's very sheer but I love the color. I love polka dots. I didn't realize it was as sheer as, as it was because I am looking for more button down shirts for work, but this I can't really wear to work. And the reason is, is because it's so long. And even if I tucked in my shirt, I'd have so much material. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And it just, 
it just didn't do much and I'm so disappointed. I wish this was like in a t-shirt. This would be such a cute t-shirt. But it's, it's very sheer, which I don't mind wearing camisoles underneath, but it is just too long for me. But what do you guys think? I really wanted I to- I love the print. I said, oh, I'll know. try that on, but when I saw the price, I'm like, mm, can't do it. Yeah, it is cut from the cloth and I do love cut from the cloth, but that just seems too long on me. And that's a Vince Camuto right there. Right, and I see these all the time on clearance at Nordstrom Rack. I did look to see if this one was at Nordstrom Rack, and it's not. So I do. $69 for a sleeveless tank top. Well, it is Vince Camuto, and it's Still, a very $69 pretty color. for a tank top. Yes, it's a very pretty color, but I'm telling you what, these are on clearance all the time at Nordstrom Rack. Clearance at Nordstrom Rack. So they're even cheaper at Nordstrom Rack, and then they put them on clearance. And I do have two of these exact uh, tops in two different jewel colors. I have one in like a, a royal blue, uh, like a sapphire blue, and then I have another one in like an emerald green. So I don't need to add the ruby one to my collection. But maybe I will when it actually goes on clearance at Nordstrom Rack, so. But it is a really nice and it flows really nice, but I know how quickly they go on sale, so I'm not gonna do that. And then this I really wanted to like. This is from Addison Parker. This retails for $68. And it's it almost feels like a terry cloth. That looks like a spring transitional piece. Yes, absolutely. So when I pulled it out, I thought, great. Here's why I'm not gonna keep it. I don't mind the material, but I am not a fan of drape fronts. I'm not a fan of waterfall fronts. I don't like the extra material that's there. And I think that, I know it's a crop jacket, but it hit me at the wrong place in the back. It didn't come down to like the top of my hip, it came above it. And it just, to me, it didn't look right. But let me know what you guys think how this I kind of like this on Cindy. I thought it kind of looked cute, but if she's not a fan of the front, no, don't buy something I don't, you're not a fan I don't of. like all of this material hanging there. I just don't. I think I thought that coat was slimming on you. Uh, I just didn't but like it. If you're not going to wear it, you got to get rid of it. You have no, way I'm too not. many clothes to keep something you're iffy about. Yeah, and how much was this one? It's sixty-eight dollars. It's not something anything to sneeze at. No, and I wouldn't wear it enough. I, I mean, I wanted a black and white. I I love the concept of this, but when I saw the the draping in the front, I'm like, oh. Because do you know how much I could style this with? This would be so fun, but. This is gonna go back, and it is pretty heavy. It is, it's terry cloth. Yeah. So I like the concept of it. If it didn't have the drape front, I probably would have bought it just for styling purposes. And then they sent me a pair of Vigos jeans, and they're straight leg, and I did request them, but when I got them, uh, they're the Marley Mid-Rise, and they're $78, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. Um. So you're looking at them on me now. The length was not long enough to wear it like flats with for me. I, it just was a weird length. If it was gonna be a crop jean, they're too long. But for a straight leg jean, they're too short. And I don't have a long inseam, so it was just a weird inseam length. And there's nothing special about these. I have so many jeans other than straight leg that I want the straight legs to be different somehow. Anyway, I, anyhow, I don't, I don't care. But these were just like, oh, um, yeah, just a pair of jeans. So why am I going to spend seventy-eight dollars on a pair of boring jeans? I'm not. Yeah, should I don't. If I didn't have any jeans and I was desperate for them, like maybe when I drop down another size, I'll be desperate for jeans. That'll be a whole different story. But for seventy-eight dollars for a boring pair of jeans, no, I don't think so. And then last but not least, because they send you, uh, Wannable does send you seven items. And I think, what do you get? You get, you get a discount for. You have to keep five plus to get the full discount. Which, which is, is 20, 25, 20%. 20 yeah, 20%. Yeah, five of the seven pieces. And mm -hmm. this is from Beach Lunch Lounge. I do love their clothes. I have like three shirts of theirs downstairs. And I love this shirt. It's $68. Right. 
Um, but this is way, way too big on me. But I absolutely love the shirt. I love the feel of it. They wash up so well. And I think what I'm going to do, and I know this is crazy, but I don't have any animal print in this color at all. And I love it. I love blue and greens and blacks together. I think I might size down. And then, I mean, it's an additional $48. Otherwise, I lose my 20 bucks anyway. So I just love this shirt. But it's way too big. You can see this is a 2X, and I'm just swimming in this thing. So let me know what you guys think and if I should size down on this shirt or send it back. But I love Beach Lunch Lounge. I'm telling you what, if you guys don't own any and you get some, check it out. So I think this is the only piece I'm considering. So let me know your feelings on so that shirt. These seven pieces came to $502. <laughs> if she keeps five, she would get $100 dollars and 40 cents off which brings it to 40160 then she gets her styling fee credit of 2160 that's an odd styling fee. well because they charge tax on the styling fee <laughs> okay um and then with sales tax her box if she kept all this it would be 412 dollars well, for, for seven all. pieces of clothing that to me with 121 dollars off oh yeah. my gosh that's ridiculous. But see, I am a person that after I get these boxes, I go online and see if I can find them anywhere else. So see, I don't. One of the uh, one of the girls, Erin, suggested, hey, just go to Poshmark and type in cut from the cloth and see everything that they have. Because a lot of times people get these clothes from clothing boxes and then they realize they don't wear them. And then they're selling them for half the value. Like, brilliant. I didn't even, I, I sell stuff on Poshmark and I never think to go and see if any of these things are on there because people, how many times have I bought stuff from boxes and then never wore them and they end up in my Poshmark I still have pile. things hanging in my closet with the price tags on them, which sends my husband. Yeah. Well, we, we should do a, a week where we have to wear something we haven't worn before just to get the tags off of them. So, all right. So it wasn't a bad box. Um... You know, I guess the spring transitional boxes, because they don't know, you know, now I'm not asking for a transitional box. I'm saying I want spring and I want yellows and pinks and oranges. <laughs> That's what I wear in the spring and summer. What colors do you wear in the spring and summer? Black and gray. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I try. I, I'll i throw a pink sweater on with gray or black pants, or I wear jeans. I'm back working full time, so I've been struggling because they're so, where I'm working, they're so particular about what you can wear. All right, well, let me know what you guys think of Wannable. Again, this was my first box in probably over a year. Um, and let me know if you think it's something that you would continue, what you guys see, what you think, all that stuff, because I really do listen and answer. And It's a little high price for my, my taste. I wouldn't. If I buy shirts that are 70 bucks, I'd freak out if I stained them. And I bought a few through Stitch Fix, and I rarely wear them because I don't want to ruin them. Well, that's kind of silly. I know, isn't it stupid? But they're white, and they're the, what's that guy's name? Um, Daniel Rains. Mm, those are expensive. So I don't want to ruin them. And I think, <clears throat> you know, that this only, you know, with spending a little bit more money on this, I know the brand, I know how they wash up. And I truly do not have anything like this. If it would have been a normal like brown and black thing, I have so many of it. In fact, I had two animal print jean jackets that were so similar. And I'm like, what am I doing? And so this, my girl, the girl that I work with at the office, she doesn't have any. So I brought it to her and she was so excited that she got a, I can't wait to see how she dresses it for work. So. Well, that's Cindy's Wanna Boat. <clears throat> we have another video to get to, so thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you liked us, let us know. And if you did let us know, we like to hear it both ways. So um, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye.